When I first started my journey into data analysis over 10 years ago, I had no idea where it would lead me. I began as a data analyst and through hard work, continuous learning and dedication and a passion for data, I transitioned into a data engineer. Throughout my career, I've had the opportunity to work with some of the world's largest global banks and helping them unlock the potential of the data. But looking back, I realized I could have advanced so much faster if I had known what I know now. So in this video, I want to share the fastest way to learn data analysis and actually get a job. Whether you're starting from scratch or you're looking to advance your career like I did, I'll also share some tips, tricks, and common mistakes that you should avoid. So where do you start? The tools you use will shape your entire data analysis journey. While there are many tools out there, let's focus on the essential ones that every data analyst should master. This might seem basic, but Excel is the bread and butter of data analysis. No matter how advanced a company is, Excel will always be in the mix. It is where many data professionals start, and it's a tool that's still incredibly powerful for data manipulation, analysis, and visualization. However, as great as Excel is, it does still have its limitation, especially when dealing with large data sets or complex operations. To learn Excel for free, start with Practice Online, a great resource that not only teaches you the basics, but also provides interactive environment to practice your skills. Learning SQL or SQL is a game changer because it allows you to interact directly with databases, retrieve and manipulate large amounts of data efficiently, and perform complex queries that would be impossible in Excel. Understanding SQL opens up a world of possibilities, giving you the ability to work with vast datasets stored in a relational databases which is critical for any data analyst. Having worked with global banks, I can tell you firsthand that SQL is indispensable in managing and analyzing massive amounts of data that these institutions handle daily. The ability to write efficient queries to extract exactly the data that you need will make you invaluable to any organization. To learn SQL for free, I highly recommend starting with W3 Schools SQL tutorial. It is a comprehensive and accessible resource for beginners and it provides a hands-on practice. Next, you will need a tool to create visually appealing and interactive reports. This is where BI tools like Power BI and Tableau come in. Both are powerful but Power BI has the advantage of being closely integrated with Microsoft tools like Excel and making it easier to learn if you're familiar with Excel. Tableau on the other hand is known for its advanced data visualization capabilities. Either tool will serve you well, just choose one that aligns with your job market or personal preference. For Power BI, Microsoft Learn offers a comprehensive range of tutorials that will get you up to speed quickly. Combine this with practice data sets from Kego and then start building your own dashboards. Finally, Python is the Swiss army knife of programming languages. It is not just for data analysis but from web development to automation. For data analysis, Python has powerful libraries like Pandas and NumPy that allows you to manipulate and analyze data efficiently. It also integrates well with other tools, allowing you to automate your entire data workflow. Plus, learning Python opens doors to other fields like data science and machine learning, giving you more career options and down the road. Learning the tools is just the beginning. To really stand out, you need to apply what you've learned by building projects and creating portfolio. Start with small projects that interest you. Maybe you're passionate about sports, finance or social media, whatever it is. Find a data set and start analyzing it. Use forums, YouTube channels and tools like ChatGPT to get guidance when you hit a roadblock. And when you feel ready, start preparing for job interviews. SQL in particular is often tested during technical interviews. So make sure you practice on websites like HackerRank and LeadCode. 
These platforms offer a wide range of problems that will help you hone your skills and prepare for real-world scenarios. Certifications can be a great way to validate your skills and make you attractive to employers. Consider pursuing certifications like Microsoft Certified Power BI Associate. Once you've built your skills, update your CV and LinkedIn profile to reflect your achievements. Don't forget to include links to your portfolio. Employers love to see a tangible example of what you can do. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is starting your journey but not finishing it. The path to become a great data analyst is challenging but it's also incredibly rewarding. Use the resources that I've mentioned, you don't need to spend money, just get started, apply for jobs and keep improving. Remember, rejections are part of the process. Use the feedback to get better, keep learning and don't stop until you land your first job. If you're still here, you clearly have a passion for learning. While you're at it, do me a favor and please like this video, comment and please tell me if you want me to do like a bootcamp and teach you how to use Excel, Power BI, Tableau, SQL, Python, and how to do ETL and a bit of data engineering, even AWS. Just leave a comment and tell me what type of YouTube video you would like to see on my channel. Thank you, until next time, stay blessed.